Good morning. This is the news. And I'm still waiting for the big news story. It's going to come quite soon, I'm telling you. It's the announcement of a world government. It's going to come. I think they are waiting for this crisis to work for a long time. They want people to suffer properly. Yeah. And then they will announce it. And they want to make it as sexy as possible. Yeah. That's what they did with the EU. It just looked sexy, you see. So they want to put sugar on it, you know, candy and uh, cream. And people will love it. So this is the solution. That's what they will say. World government. And then they will make uh, leaders all over the place accept it and promote it. And they will use media. And then there you have it. Yeah. It will be a disaster. Our freedoms will be gone. Yeah. I'm telling you. It's just a matter of time. So we have to stop it. Hmm. Uh, meanwhile, you know, while I'm waiting for this story to come, uh, I have other stuff to tell you. Uh, Sweden, the price on gasoline has been dropping lately here in Sweden. And there is one person who is not pleased with this. She's quite upset about it, actually. It's the chairman of the Green Party here in Sweden. Her name is Isabella Levine. She's upset. She says that if the petrol companies don't understand the importance of keeping the price high, she wants to stop import stop importing oil to balance the price she wants it to remain high yeah just so you know all right and uh, people are making money on this crisis china since the 1st of march they have exported 3.86 billion masks 37.5 million pieces of protective clothing, 16,000 ventilators, and 2.84 million testing kits. Yeah. And then it's uh, Bill Gates. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, we are supposed to listen to Bill Gates. I don't understand. I don't get it. Why? I don't want to listen to Bill Gates, no, but uh, the media, they, they sort of admire this guy, I think. Uh, he's not a guru, no, not at all. He's just a salesman. He, won't, he is good at this thing, he won't, he's good at selling things, yeah, I think he is. Anyway, he wants to vaccinate everybody now. Yeah, everybody should be vaccinated all over the place. Yeah. Right, and then it's Joe Biden. Uh, I just want to tell you about this because it's fascinating. He was in an interview and he might be the next US president. <laughs> anyway. He was interviewed by this ABC reporter, George Stephanopoulos. And uh, he, they were talking about the corona and the wall. And this is what Joe Biden said. It's sort of weird. I just want to tell you about it. And he said, uh, these viruses, as you know, George, they have no borders, he said. He added, you can't build a wall. You can't put up. You can't have, you know, people at the border trying to stop it. It's beyond that capacity. So he thinks the wall will be useless. People at the border stopping people with the virus, you know, uh, it's useless. No use. But still, uh, I think he wants quarantines, right? So people should stay at home inside their apartments and houses and stuff so and these are walls too aren't they and I think they are quite effective yes they actually work so uh, I don't know. it's just uh, an interesting statement right uh, that's all bye